Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some toadstools that are perfect for your Halloween designs. And I'm going to be showing you two different ways to make toadstools or mushrooms. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. First of all, I'm using a 350. Okay, which I'm just going to inflate a little bit. So just a couple of strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. Put a twist in the neck and tie. Okay, put a twist in the other end. And then we're just gonna snip off the end, about here. And then just tie. Next, take an 11 inch in a Halloween type print. So you can use lots of different sorts of Halloween prints for these. I'm using the Qualtex polka dot prints, but if you've got other odd balloons left over with prints that would work, this is a great design to uh, use up some of the odd print balloons that you have lying around. So I've used uh, zebra prints, I've used pirate prints, I've used the tiger prints. So you can go get really creative with the sorts of prints that you use for this design, okay? And then inflate this all the way, okay? So you've inflated your balloon all the way, now let some air out. Okay, if you want to downsize to approximately six and a half to seven inches, okay? And then tie a knot, but tie high on the neck. So you're tying a soft knot, and by that I mean you're not pulling the knot tightly. And then we're just going to take hold of that knot that you've made, and we're going to roll it up the neck towards the nozzle end, okay? So it won't go any further, so that's what you've got. While you're here, remember to pop the like button. That will enable this video to reach more viewers and it's going to help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate if you would do that for me. Thank you very much. Next, you're going to need a little piece of 160, okay? In a colour that isn't going to um, clash too much with the colour that you're using, okay? Take your 11 inch round or a 12 inch round if you're using 12 inch and you're going to want to squeeze the air up into that neck area. You might need to press the balloon against yourself to do that. So push the air into this area and then take your middle finger, put it on top of the knot and nozzle. So squeeze the air up and then push that knot and nozzle through into the balloon and you're going to want to push it right through into the base of the balloon here. So you may well see a little bit of um, the area of the balloon that looks a little bit thicker, a little bit darker, and that's the area that you're aiming for. So push that knot and nozzle through, and then with your other hand, grab hold of the knot and take out your finger, and keeping hold of that knot and nozzle, twist the balloon. Okay, so we're keeping hold of everything. Take that little bit of 160 and wrap that around that cluster of knots that you're holding on to. So just wrap it around a few times. Okay, and then take hold of these ends and just tie them into a knot. Okay, once you've tied one knot, tie a second knot. Okay, so that's what you've got. Take the stem of your mushroom and tie it onto the tails from the top of your mushroom and just tie that in a knot. Okay, and we can trim off all the messy bits here. Be sure to check out my Halloween series. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find out more about my Halloween tutorials on Vimeo and you can watch a trailer to see what's included. For our next mushroom design, again, take a 350. I'm using black and again, just inflate a little bit, let some of the air out. So you perhaps want a stem of maybe six or seven inches or so. Tie that off. And then as before, just put a twist in the end. Snip off 
the end and tie knot. Okay. Next, take an, another 11 inch round. I've got another polka dot print and I've got a 260. And I'm folding that 260 so that the side with the nozzle is just slightly half an inch or so slightly shorter than the other side and then put that inside the 11 inch okay and then we want to inflate the 11 inch only you can do that with your hand pump or you can do it with an electric inflator i'll show you with the hand pump Okay, so I've not inflated it all the way. What I'm doing is inflating the balloon, I'm stretching the latex, but I'm also creating a little bit of space within which to work with inside the balloon. And then take your hand pump, and next you're wanting to inflate the 260. So put the 260 onto your hand pump. Okay. And then just push that knot and nozzle, push that nozzle into the balloon and start to inflate your 260. Okay, so for me that was four strokes of a hand pump. Put a twist in the neck, that's going to stop the air coming out. Take hold of the ends of that 260 and pull them, pull them out of the balloon. Okay, and then tie a knot. Don't worry if you're losing air. From the 11 inch and tie a second knot okay and then we can trim off the ends okay here if you have lost some air from your 11 inch put a little bit more in until you've got enough room to maneuver that 260 inside the 11 inch okay so just just want to maneuver it round until it is lying horizontally inside the balloon. And then let out the air. So you can see the 260 now going around. So let out the air. Okay, so that's what you're left with. Next, take another 11 inch and take a chopstick. Okay, put the balloon onto the chopstick and then insert the 11 inch into the balloon that you've already inflated, okay? And then inflate the balloon that you've just inserted, okay? So what we want to do here is we just want to push that inner balloon through, okay? So that you're trying to ensure that this 260 stays in the lower part of the balloon, okay? Take your hand pump again and continue to inflate, okay? And if you need to, so mine's bulging here, so I'm just going to lift out a little bit of air at the same time as I'm pushing that 260 down. And at that point, I'm happy with that toast to stool shape. So I'm going to take hold of that inner neck and tie the inner neck in a knot. Okay, so there you've got the top of your toad stool. At this point, take hold of one of the ends of your black 350 and tie it onto the neck of that 11 inch. Okay. Take a five inch round in black and inflate. And then downsize. So I'm not measuring this really strictly, but I'm I want it to be a, it's about going to be about three inches or so, three to four inches, but it just fits in my hand quite comfortably. And then tie a knot. Okay, and we're going to split this five inch in half 
just by putting our fingers inside of the knot and nozzle and then twisting in opposite directions. So I'm going to twist this way with this hand and twist this way with the other hand, okay? So just grab hold and twist, okay? Twist several times and then take hold of that neck, wrap it around and then tie a knot, okay? If your bubbles aren't perfectly um, equal in size, don't worry, this is a balloon toe stools. So, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter, okay? And just hold onto the split duplate like that between your ring finger and your little finger. And make another one of these. So again, inflate, let out the air and downsize to about a handful, and then tie, and split. Wrap that round and tie in a knot. Okay, take your two split duplets and connect them together and just wrap them around one another until they form a cluster of four. Take your toadstool and just pass that cluster of four there. Just wrap them around and that's going to hold the base of that toadstool in position and just finish that off nicely. So there are your mushrooms. As I said, you can make them in lots of different prints and you get some really fun effects. I guess that makes these fun guys. Sorry, I had to include that one. So if you are still here, um, remember to pop the like video and check out those uh, Halloween series. Uh, the link is in the description below. They're available on Vimeo. Uh, that's a recent uh, change I've made, ch changing the hosting of my videos from my website to Vimeo to make it easier for you all to access those. So hope you've enjoyed the video. Pop the like button and I'll see you again very soon. Really easy mushroom that's perfect for your Valentine's. Valentine's? <laughs>